Greetings. Today we are going to install the new and improved drive shaft. In just a minute here, I'll show you the difference between the new and the old shafts. Earlier today, I installed the uh, steering, the new steering shaft, shaft support plate. Uh, you remember that I laid the steering down about five degrees. I also installed a plate here in the midsection where the fuel tank will be mounted. Uh, I've got a nice cylindrical aluminum fuel tank here that uh, kind of mimics what Nat had. Um, uh, Nat, that tank was actually an oil tank and the fuel tank was in the back. I don't really want to bother with the fuel pump and all that stuff. So we're going to use the, uh, the oil tank as the fuel tank uh, for my cycle cart. So yeah, uh, let's get to work. We'll uh, also get to drive this thing later today, see how that goes. So here's the new drive shaft assembly and here's the old drive shaft assembly. Um, previously it was a solid tube. You'll recall that we cut the tube, uh, added in a sort of a splice tube and realigned the yokes so that they're in line with each other. The nice thing about this drive shaft, it's a tube and we just made the yokes in line from the beginning. Uh, but also the nice thing is the, the yokes are all machined from 4130 uh, billet steel, whereas the old drive shaft is all cast iron. Um, uh, the other like massive change that we're going to see is here in the upstream section. Um, I had a basically a spline shaft that I adapted onto a one inch shaft, and then I took a, a 41 b18 sprocket and i bought another sprocket that had this spline in it uh, cut that off and overboard the 41b18 sprocket and then welded the two together so that way this sprocket would um, be driven or was able to drive uh, the splines on this shaft and then this engaged with the splines on the yoke Problem is, the uh, the spline yoke really only had about three quarters of an inch to an inch of spline contact area, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a fair amount of play in that, and then the sprocket also had a fair amount of play, and the two were not joined when driving, so I think this is where the majority of my vibration um, came from. That's where I'm hoping, crossing my fingers. The new assembly, um, I was able to buy a slip yoke, which is splined for almost like two and a half inches. So from here to here, it's splined. And then we took another 40B18 sprocket and bored it. So it slipped over the uh, slip yoke and then welded it to that. So the new um, assembly is a almost a pound lighter than the old assembly uh, but overall it's going to offer a lot more um, just better engagement uh, where it counts which is uh, in the upstream drive area so let's get to work okay so we have the new drive shaft installed and now we are going to start up the engine and just see how rough it is hopefully it's smoother uh, under acceleration, you know, there's a lot of vibration on the engine just inherently. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens.
was a lot better. So now uh, I'm just going to tighten up the throttle cable a little bit and then uh, we'll drop it and we'll go for a spin. Okay, so just got back from the test drive. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, top speed is really only getting up to about still 34, 35 miles an hour, um, but it accelerates a lot better and the vibration is significantly improved. Um, so I'm really pleased with, with the feel of that. Um, the uh, I'm going to check out the throttle linkage, perhaps that's, I'm not just, I'm not getting enough throttle um, travel, uh, so I'm going to put a tack on the engine and just make sure that I'm getting um, maximum RPMs, I think it's like 3600 RPMs, uh, but overall, uh, very pleased with um, 
with the drive line. Um, really, the vibration is gone, and that that's that was the big thing. Um, so yeah, it uh, steers good, brakes good, um, doesn't vibrate as bad. Um, so I'm pleased. So we've got a few more weeks before Monterey. Uh, I've got to put on the fuel tank. Hopefully, get an exhaust. Put on this uh, mid cowl here, and uh, I'm gonna screw around with the seat a little bit. I'm gonna cut it down a little lower to match kind of what Nat had, but uh, overall, I'm very pleased. So yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, come back for more videos. We'll see you soon. Cheers.